Atomic Cock, the most OG of Daredevil pedals, uh, 2012, I believe. This was like the first pedal where I kind of had an idea and I was just learning how to, to do pedals and I was really deep into it. Uh, and I set out to accomplish this goal, which, um, you know, a lot of this I, I kind of talked about in the, the Dunlop Crybaby Fuzz Wah video. Um, but I think there's just some brief clips. This will kind of fill in the gaps. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you're on tour and sometimes you play a show and it's daylight and sometimes you're not happy about that and you've been drinking and sometimes your rig decides to start acting up during a show and maybe you decide to smash your watt pedal uh, with your big black boots until it breaks and the top rocker cracks and you have a broken watt pedal. <laughs> um, and that is exactly what happened to this, what's left of it. This was kind of the perfect reason for me to tear this thing apart, piece it back together and kind of build this like Frankenstein parked wah, cocked wah thing uh, that had been bouncing around in my head for a while. You know, I got tired of hitting a boost, hitting the wah, finding my spot, playing a solo, turning the wah off, turning the boost off. And I just wanted it all in one thing. And if something like that existed at the time, I wasn't aware of it. Um, so I had already kind of tinkered with pedals a little bit, but this was the first time that I just kind of dove face first into it. Uh, I modded the, the crybaby a little bit and just moved the switch. I stuffed the pot through the top and this was on my board for, you know, I don't know, probably six months or so while I got, you know, the other idea in motion and kind of figured out the things that I needed to make it do what I wanted it to do. Um, so that was really, the very beginning of, of what, you know, the catalyst of what became Daredevil Pedals. Everything came together, you know, kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Um, and this circuit has not changed since 2012. There's been different size enclosures, you know, there's been different artwork, but it's been like the circuit itself has been the exact same, regardless of, you know, what the PCB looks like or, you know, uh, the first, I'd say three or four years, these were all done on strip board, you know, um, so it's uh once i got it that was it you know i've just i if it's not broke don't fix it and it stayed exactly the same um this is the very first kind of you know og version uh in the neon green apple whatever um and i think for the first like two years i was screen printing these in my basement on top of my washing machine i learned how to screen print you know so it was definitely like a very diy kind of thing um until i progressed into having other people actually help me out with this stuff and it's changed shape a few times there was a double atomic cock which is there's one up there uh, we transitioned over this other artwork uh, i did a few of the double atomic cocks in those i did a few bigger box ones in those and then now for about the last year we had the atomic cocked uh, because i got a couple of really bad boomer dad kind of puns that weren't funny and I just thought, oh God, um, but that's it. So now we have the Atomic Cock. The way that a lot of people think of this and with the demos and stuff too, especially is like, uh, you know, like the Mick Ronson kind of overtly wah-y type thing for solos and stuff. And you really get a sense of the cocked wah tone. Um, a lot of players do it a different way, which I am a big fan of too, where you really blend it back and you just use it as like a subtle, tone shaping thing you kind of add something to your tone that's just uh, a little bit different and really makes it stand out and you can just find kind of a sweet spot in there that that changes it just a little bit but it really enhances what you're doing and you have the option of really kind of adding a little bit of dirt or output to it if you're going through a tube amp that can make a pretty awesome difference in sustain and break up and stuff like that even if it's just a little bit coming from a pedal right um so I'm going to do some of that with, I don't know, one of these, one of these amps here, just so you can kind of get an idea of that approach as well as, you know, the obvious, you know, Ronson E. Shanker cocked wah thing. Um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks to you guys for buying these over the years, for digging it. Um, like the page, subscribe to Daredevil Pedals YouTube channel. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
get these amps dialed in and make some noise. Okay? See ya. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.